So we're here with Mike Taylor, Director of Customer Engineering for Cummins, and going to talk about the new ISV 5.0. Mike, can you first talk about uh, what you were hearing in the marketplace from an OEM customer standpoint as to the, the, the demand and need for a uh, five liter diesel engine in that market space? Certainly, we're very excited about the ISV 5.0 and the opportunity in this marketplace. Um, our customers in this uh, segment are really looking for a total cost of ownership, a low total cost of ownership. So things like fuel efficiency and being 20 to 40 percent better than big V8 or V10 gasoline engines. Um, some of our customers are looking for residual value in terms of the ability to sell at a higher uh, value to the second owner um, and certainly that uh, comes through the, um, the ability to have a diesel versus the big gasoline engines. Because of the confidence that you have in where you operate those diesels, you're just never really hurting your equipment, right? You're never really having to go out and access that really high RPM. You always just have that really good diesel goodness right there uh, where you need it at low operating speeds. And it just feels the same whether you're on level ground or you, you've got a full load, uh, full cargo. It just feels the same and you just always have that confidence whether you're uh, needing to, to merge into a freeway scene, you need to accelerate, decelerate, all of those things are just, it's, uh, it's, it's quite an exciting product and we're very pleased. So just a few weeks ago, Cummins announced the uh, engine partnership with Nissan, putting the A5 liter V8 Cummins engine into some Nissan trucks. Can you talk about the difference between that from a passenger pickup standpoint and what was introduced here with the ISV 5.0? Absolutely. So as you, as you mentioned, uh, back in August we uh, announced a partnership with Nissan for the next generation Titan with the Cummins 5 liter uh, V8 turbo diesel. Uh, just yesterday we have announced the uh, ISV 5.0 for commercial markets. Uh, there are some differences. Um, the Cummins 5 liter V8 turbo diesel we did announce was going to be a 300 plus horsepower and mid 500s in terms of torque. And uh, just yesterday we announced that the top rating for the ISV 5.0 would be 275 horsepower and 560 pound-feet of torque. So there are clearly some differences. One of those is uh, targeted at uh, engine dyno certification. So when you look at the ISV 5.0, the types of applications like uh, package uh, delivery or school bus or recreational vehicles, motor homes, those kinds of things. We use an engine dyno certified process for uh, pickup truck type applications. We have a chassis certification process and uh, so, so clearly that drives some differences in terms of uh, low emissions and uh, fuel economy and those types of things. So from, a, from the engine itself, uh, the main difference is around the turbocharging and air handling system and that really that's the, the key difference between the two engines, the Cummins 5 liter V8 turbo diesel and the ISV 5.0. So we're here looking at the new Cummins ISV 5.0, so I'd like to take a couple minutes and just kind of walk you around some of the key features of the engine. Um, first of all, we've got a uh, CGI, aluminum, or CGI cast iron block. Uh, this is a uh, new feature of this engine, first for Cummins. Uh, we've got aluminum cylinder heads, uh, again a first application for Cummins. Uh, as we walk around the engine, you can see in the cutaway that we've got uh, basically a high pressure common rail piezo fuel system. You'll see the injector here in the bore uh, with the uh, high pressure common rail attributes. Moving further around, uh, you'll see Cummins VGT turbocharger. Uh, this is a variable geometry turbocharger that uh, allows us to basically modulate the boost across a wide speed range and load range of the engine. Uh, same kind of technology that we use in a lot of our larger on-highway vehicles and engines. Uh, you'll see further around the engine, uh, we, use, we still employ uh, cooled EGR technology on this engine for emissions control, so you'll see the EGR cooler, uh, you'll see the EGR uh, valving arrangement back, in the, uh, back behind it here. Um, Around, you'll notice that we've cut away the front right corner of the engine here that shows the chain drive system of the engine. You'll see that we have a chain drive that drives both of the dual overhead cams within the V of the engine, uh, as well as driving the fuel pump and the oil pump of the engine. Uh, this is done for uh, having very uh, good noise properties on the engine. 
and then finally brings us back to the front left corner of the engine and what you'll see is some of the key features in terms of the maintenance and serviceability side of the engine. Uh, we have a new composite oil filter on the engine. If you move further up you'll see the oil fill access points and you also see one stage of our two-stage fuel filtration system which has easy access for the top cap to be removed and be able to take out a cartridge style replacement element for the filtrations.